Hi folks, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions. Say, so we got a few comments, a few questions on last week's tip of the week about uh, restricting parameters to certain values uh, using a uh, restricted value file. A uh, few things come to mind. Somebody had some issues getting it to work right. First is the file type. Uh, it can't be a text file. It can't be a rich text. It has to be a simple text file saved and renamed as a .lst instead of .txt. And while we're on the topic of text editors, you have to make sure that you're not using saving it in some sort of rich text format or Word, because sometimes a plain text file will see carriage returns and other things and formatting conventions as odd characters that doesn't know quite what to do with them. Now what you're seeing on screen is the syntax of a restricted value file. And by the way, we will post a link to a text copy of this so you can download it. And it has to do with the parts you see in black. There's a header right here, and that's standard boilerplate. And there's an ending bracket as well. And it uses that bracket character to separate different sections. All there is in between it is these two sections, each of those uh, separated by a comma for as many as you need. The last one of them doesn't have a comma, by the way. And it's just the actual restricting of that parameter itself. Now, if you take away all the type, default and all the rest of those things, what you really see is a format like this. You've got this bit of boilerplate. It's got its own closing bracket on the end. And what you've done is you've separated in between all these different variables you want to do by commas that each have their own section. That's a little bit harder to see off the bat when you're looking at it in this format with everything on its own row. So again, below this comment video, you'll find a link to one of these sample restricted value files. If you have any other questions, either post a comment below, shoot us an email, or contact somebody at EAC. Thanks and have a great rest of your week.